Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful resolve tips and tricks in about five minutes. In this episode, we're going to configure the Fairlight page to record some voiceover or ADR. Before we get to the resolve component, I'll cover some simple setup tips. Due to the incredible variety of possible hardware configurations, it's impossible to address every issue. But hopefully the information in this video helps you out. For Windows users, you'll first want to make sure Resolve is closed. I'm using Windows 10, so if you're using a different version, your mileage may vary. Right-click on the volume control in the taskbar at the bottom of the screen, and choose Recording Devices. Then scroll down to the microphone input for your computer. If you're using an audio interface, make sure it's set as the default recording device. On this computer, it's the Zoom H series multi track device. Select your input source and click Properties. Then click on the Advanced tab. In the default format section, make sure whichever input is selected has a sample rate of at least 48,000 Hz. With that done, click OK. Then open DaVinci Resolve. For Mac users, you'll also want to start off with DaVinci Resolve closed. Then click on the volume controls and go to Sound Preferences. In Sound Preferences, go to Input and make sure your audio interface is selected. Then close the Preferences and open Resolve. Once you're in Resolve, the process for setting up a simple recording session should be identical for Windows and Mac. In the Fairlight page, I'll open the meters and click this button to detach the viewer. I'll move the viewer to the lower left to get it out of the way and resize it so I can see what's going on. Then I'll close the meters to maximize the work area. Next, I'll open the mixer. Then I'll go to the input menu for the track that I want to record to. By default, there's no input setup. So I'll click input in the menu to open up the patch input output window. I'll select my input source on the left, in this case, channel two. Then, I'll make sure the correct track destinations are selected on the right. Finally, I'll click Patch and close the window. With an input assigned to the track, I'll click the R or Record button in the track header or in the mixer to arm the track for recording. If you open the input menu again and choose Input Settings, you're provided with a few more tools for fine-tuning the recording session. However, most of these are only compatible with Blackmagic Design hardware. I'll close this window. Now the last step is to hit record in the transport controls and record your VO. I watched a snail crawl along the edge of a straight razor. That's my dream. It's my nightmare. Crawling, slithering along the edge of a straight razor and surviving. In the few times that I've experienced recording problems, restarting my system, whether on Windows or Mac, has cleared it up. If you record multiple takes, they'll be stacked on top of one another in the track. And you can view the takes by going to the View menu and turning on Show Audio Track Layers. This now makes it easy to assemble a composite of the best parts of each take. This is just a quick introduction to recording VO in ADR and Resolve. I watched a snail crawl along the edge of a street. There's a lot more functionality to the Fairlight page. And since it's a new feature in Resolve 14, there's still much to be discovered and explored. If you'd like to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, check out our great tutorials at rippletraining.com, the number one resource for DaVinci Resolve certification training.